All right, so this is the uh, the beginning stages of grooming. <laughs> For those of you who don't know anything about show poodles, this is a long process. So this is how I have him trained to lay. The towel just keeps the moisture in his body until I'm ready to dry those areas. And I have this big monster dryer. Um, and then I also have a smaller dryer. So I'm going to be working on the smaller areas like his rosettes and his bracelets with the smaller dryer. And then the bigger dryer is going to be used on his body in concentrated areas to make sure that he's as straight as possible. So yeah, it's a lot of work and it's usually about five or six hour process. Um, I've let him grow out, so it'll probably be more like a 10 hour process. Um, I'm going to be bathing him again in a few more days and then finishing the process because I probably won't be able to get it all done in one day. Anyway, all right, so here I am with a stand, the stand dryer. And what the stand dryer does is it just like works in concentrated areas so that I can really see exactly like where he's matted. Um, like I can see right there, he's got a mat. So the hair should be able to separate nicely um, wherever I'm grooming him. But basically, yeah, I groom him at the same time as this is drying. I can see there's a mat right here. Um, yeah, it just allows me to work on everything. And yeah, this is a, a warm, dryer so it's nice and comfy for him and he's just he's just snoozing he's got a little pillow underneath there he's pretty spoiled and he gets treats throughout the process but um yeah so this is the long process beginning okay so he is almost all dry and i just want to spot check for mats so i'm just going to take my um blower and also just so you guys know this is like a foolproof way of finding um, ticks in the summer. So, <laughs> um, yeah, if you take like a blow dryer or like any sort of hand blow dryer or anything like that and go over your dog, if it's longer coated, you will find the ticks right away that way. But this is how I check for mats. So I just want to see like a clean line everywhere I go. <laughs> So I am done going over him with the dryer. He is mat free. So now we're going to change the shape a little bit. I have to brush through him with a slicker and then I'm going to comb through him. I'm going to start off with his feet because I'm going to scissor his feet nice and clean. Okay, so I got his uh, feet done in the front and his little rosettes and his tail. Um, so now I'm going to be working on clipping, nicely clipping his body and then his back legs and his body. His, so I'll probably start off with his chest. His chest needs to be taken in quite a bit, so it needs to be coming up from quite a bit higher up here and then rounding out so the high the point of his uh fore chest should be the longest part of his front for the hair so we're gonna do that and then probably his undercarriage which just needs to be round out rounded out and straightened and uh yeah so i'm gonna do that now Fuck me guys, like I'm on my way to a wedding meeting right now, but like, oh my god, that took forever. Honestly, like, if you're gonna have a poodle, just don't decide to show him, you know, 
don't get a champion dog because that is a nightmare. I am so excited for him to be a champion, which will definitely happen this year. Um, but like, oh my God, that was like five, six hours of straight grooming. More than that, I think at this point. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's fucking phenomenally hard. Like my fingers literally have blisters and sores all over them now from the grooming. So good times, but I'm proud of myself. I'm always happy to get it done and I will be doing it again this weekend just because he's got, I grew it. Uh, yeah, so I was saying like I I grew his coat out really long so that I could um, practice on him for like I would eventually like to sort of like do a grooming competition with him or something. Um, so that's why his coat was so long and I had that much extra work to do. But yeah, so now I'm going to be trying to do him again this weekend and then when I get back from Mexico because I leave to Mexico on Monday. Um, then I'll do it again and we'll see, we'll see how he looks then. So after a long day of grooming, it was kind of nice because the mailman came and delivered our dapper dog box. Um, and the nice thing about the dapper dog box is that I get it for free usually just because he is kind of a special dog to them. So if you go on to dapperdogbox.com, you can use code Robert and get something for free. He's already playing with his two squeaky toys that he got. And we got this nice little note in here from the management there um, that Robert will look so gorgeous in this bandana. And they sent us this adorable bandana. So I think what they're kind of suggesting is a photo shoot of him in this because uh, that's usually what I do is I do like a photo shoot with him and some of their products. Um, but yeah, they usually have, I think they've got, yeah, they've got three bags of treats in this box and then the bandana. And then they've got, and then he had two squeaker toys. So that's really good. So he had fun opening.